Ahmed played two points. The rugby starting to do a little more in the last two rounds. Will those body shots of Rigby maybe wear down Tanvir Ahmed late on? It's one possibility, but only one. I think it's no exaggeration to say that both of these two fighters want this title so badly they'd have fought here for nothing tonight. Tanvir Ahmed actually said as much. Don't tell Frank Maloney that, though. Well, Ahmed's now starting to get involved in a brawl, and that, that kind of fight doesn't really suit him. He's better behind the jab, trying to control things at long range, and this will be better for Rigby and a good of a cut from him there. But it was the only shot that landed in the rally. The rest of them hit the arms. Rigby's got quite a few supporters who've come down from Manchester to get behind him here. Good crowd at the York Hall in Bethnal Green where they do love their boxing. And after the long Christmas New Year break, just, I think, thirsting to see a bit of action again, really. Well, it is such a, a good venue. And for years, has been a very good area for boxing. They do appreciate it here. Good doubling up of the left hand by Rigby and then a nice little countering right by Ahmed. Nip and tuck, really. Rounds have been tough to score, a lot of them. Come on, what? Yes, Come on. Just the way the, the styles clash, they are difficult to score. Ahmed scores with arm punches really but he gets them through inside. Rigby now is starting to get closer, starting, his punches are starting to look better. He's good with the left hand by Ahmed and then he picks his man off with the jab as well at range. And out of range three times with his own jab, Rigby. finish to the round by Tanvir Ahmed well it's fascinatingly poised this fight for the British lightweight championship vacated by Michael Ayres Tanvir Ahmed who's trained by Willie Connolly and I'm af afraid that uh, his hand was broken in training for this fight while he was working with Tanvir Ahmed, Willie Connolly, from the Alex Morrison camp, as you can see there on the uh, on the tracksuit tops. Well, that was a difficult round to score. I'd just go for, for Rigby by his better work at the beginning of the round. Ahmed come back towards the end with some good long shots. But Rigby was just trying to work away early on and had the better of it for most of the round for me. And then at the end of the round, these shots from Tanvir Ahmed. Round eight. Oh, that's a cracking left hand by Ricky. Ahmed rather walked onto it. Tanvir Ahmed, who is a Muslim, told that Ramadan starts tonight, and he has postponed his fasting for that because he wants to celebrate an anticipated victory but that is very much up in the air so far it may well depend almost certainly will depend on what happens over these last five rounds well, this fight is still point still very close we've been landed a big right hand and Ahmed come back to answer it with a, a good salvo of punches really digging his toes in Ricky here and letting this leather fly Tanvir Ahmed having to meet fire with fire some good action already in this eighth round
the jab of Ahmed is not as an effective a weapon as it was in the early rounds. He was controlling with that early. Now he's unable to keep Rigby off. Good work here by Rigby. Certainly part of his battle plan to really come on strong late on. Again, big right hand and a left to the body. He's throwing every punch with some evil intent at the moment. Rigby marked up around the face as he is. But it looks as if Ahmed's starting to tire now. The right hands of Rigby are getting through more and more. Is Tanvir Ahmed going to be worn down here by this relentless man from Manchester who's on a winning run? It's a big effort in this round from Wayne Rigby. Can he sustain it? Can Tanvir Ahmed just get back to his boxing again? Well, Ahmed's starting to get his punches off towards the end of the round, but Rigby's done an awful lot in this one. Ahmed looking tired. With a real fireball round, this from Wayne Rigby. And his round, I think, on the cards. Good atmosphere between them, the touch gloves at the end of almost every round, these two. Yes, I think they're both friendly, good-natured young men. They've got a lot of respect for each other, and I think they're both glad to get to get the opportunity to fight for this respected title. And they're they're fighting very hard inside the ring, between each other respect as the bell goes. But Rigby had the the best of that round, starting to get closer. Ahmed looking tired, and Rigby then starting to work much better as he gets in close and gets a distance to let his punches go. I'm just thinking, Glenn, we've mentioned some of the great names who've held this title. The one we didn't mention was Dave Charnley, who many people think was the best British boxer since the last war. Tremendous fighter, and those fights he had uh, with Joe Brown, now the late Joe Brown. A lot of people thought that Dave Charnley was robbed at Earl's Court, but that is another story from long ago. Well, this division certainly has a, a tremendous history, and I think whoever wins this will carry that Lonsdale belt with a great deal of pride. Let's go and scorecard for you. You've got it level now. Yes, for me, it's, it's all still to fight for. And it could get down in this closing stages, stages to who wants it more, who's got the... who's done the most training, who's the stronger and the fitter. Certainly Rigby had no kind of weight problems quite clearly for this. He says he can make super featherweight and came in at 9-7. Uh, Bit of tapes come loose on the glove for Rigby, so we'll have a timeout here. Bob Shannon cutting that off. For the sideline, by the way, the trainer in the corner there who's cutting off that tape, he was in the same class at school as Rigby's mum. That's a coincidence for you. You can bore your friend at the bus stop <laughs> next time you've got a spell. I'm not leave that to you. <laughs> Real good argument, this, between two fighters who prepared themselves to the minute. Marked up underneath both eyes, Rigby, but he has been for quite a while now. The cut eye that he's had for a long time has held up very well. It's not too bad. They're both starting to look tired. Not a good round for either man here. Neither one can really get a good two punches off. They're missing an awful lot in this round. I think Taylor's just starting to, to get in. say it every time but it may well depend this on who wants it most late it's 
predictable we've had a long distance fight between two comparatively light hitters a lot more missed punches in this round neither one landing to good effect the jab is not really there from Ahmed he relied on that in the early rounds and he's just allowing himself to be dragged into a fight now he's just got a little scrappy the heads banging together there rather dangerously tiredness setting in not much in that if anything good even round then wasn't it it's a good even round. I think they were both starting to get tired. There was a lot of missed punches, as I said, and you know, neither one could really get a rhythm. Ahmed just lost his poise at this moment. Can't get his jab working well. And there you can see on the stats, 147 to 144. So they're, they're very, very close on landed punching by the computer. Tanvir Ahmed relatively unmarked over there but he's tired and I think Rigby's tiring too it's been a relentless battle this <laughs> 12 wins and 3 defeats so far for Wayne Rigby who's beaten people like Hugh Collins, Jimmy Phelan in the central area title fight and Alan Wordsworth in that eliminator Ahmed, uh, Tanvir Ahmed with wins over people like Kevin McKillen, Chan Duke and Alan Temple. The last nine minutes may well decide this. I'm finding it hard to separate them on the scorecards at the moment. Well, I still have it dead level on mine, so yeah, I think we all see this is very, very close. Ahmed's got to try and get a little bit of room. He's got to start to, to let longer punches go, and more accurate punches. That's where he had his success in the early rounds. Still looking for those left hooks of the body, Rigby. But Ahmed started quite positively in this round. As I'm sure they said in Ahmed's corner, you've got to have a, a bit of distance between yourself and Rigby. You've got to let the long punches go. Can Tanvi Ahmed take this title back to Scotland? Following in the line of Jim Watt and Ken Buchanan. These are good left hands from him. Looks just a bit sharper at this stage. Tanvir Ahmed, Rigby's rather gone off the boil over the last five minutes or so. Yes, I think Ahmed's come out to make a real positive effort in this round, and I think that's just took Rigby by surprise. He's been put on the back foot, and Ahmed doing the better work. Good countering right by Rigby. Very, very hard in there, you sense for both of them now. When they're tired, they're just trying to, or they're just trying to keep the arms working, and Ahmed is doing it better, working harder, beating Rigby to the punch. His shots just look the more solid. There's a sort of arm look about some of Rigby's work in this round. trying to come back with a, a flurry of punches but nothing really scoring in there Ahmed catching them on the arms two honest battlers here they've been on the journeyman circuit and this is cup final night really for both of them and I think Ahmed won that round yes that was his round that was a big effort 
from Ahmed. I think they told him in the corner, this is close, you need something. And he answered them there. He went out with a real, a real effort, kept the punches going, started at long range, and that worked well. And then even as they come together, he still just worked that much harder than Rigby. It's a nice left hand from Tanvir Ahmed. Again, just seemed to be beating Rigby to the punch. But I think that round might have taken an awful lot out of Ahmed. That was a big effort. So how much has he got left for the last six minutes? Rigby from Manchester looking to follow in the success story of people like Carl Thompson, Steve Foster and until recently Robin Reed. And then I'm giving Ahmed the, the tenth round, just taking him that one point in the lead with two to go. But how is Larry O'Connell reading it? The real test of their grit and heart now and desire whoever wins this British lightweight championship tonight is going to have earned it you almost feel sorry that one of them will have the heartbreak of a defeat don't you if that's what happens fights like this could often go to a draw and they may have to settle it all again it has been a close fight throughout The two men now try to summon up the last few ounces of energy. They almost look as if they're fighting in a vat of treacle now, don't they? Yes, it's so hard at this point in a fight. You can train all you want, but when you get to the really late stages, you're almost doing it on just sheer mental will. You know, you're both very, very tired. And you know, that's where they say, you know, who wants it more? Who can summon up the more strength, the more determination? And I think this is a point in the fight where, really, this is what it's all about. There was a time around the eighth round where Rigby looked as if he might be ready to take over, but Tandir Ahmed's come back well. And now there are just three and a half minutes or so left. Tape on the glove of Rigby has come loose, but Larry O'Connell decides to let the action run. Either that or he hasn't spotted it as yet. If he really had some mega power, I think Tanvir Ahmed would have been on the seat of his pants from that one. That lad is flush. Was that enough to maybe just nick the round for Rigby? What do you think, Glenn? I'm not sure. It was, uh, I give it an even round. That was a, a good punch from Rigby. And that really rocked Ahmed. But, it, you know, it's really just a, that just goes a, a one so maybe it wasn't enough. Ahmed had some, some good work, some good accurate work. It was trying hard early in the round. Would we come back with some good one? This is a good close fight. They're both working very hard. I think for me that was a... You see, Ahmed landed with the left first. His wasn't quite as powerful as Rigby's, but still would have been a scoring point. So for me, an even round. Just been doing a little straw poll. I think you've got Tanvir Ahmed ahead by one round going into the last. So have I, by completely different route. And so uh, as Bob Mee, our uh, respected journalist sitting right next to us here.
Some of the rounds have been very difficult to score and pick a winner, but this is the last three minutes. We think Ahmed is just ahead. We may be wrong. Larry O'Connell may have a completely different scorecard. These things are so subjective. It could well depend on this final three minutes. On the other hand, it might not. But that's the beauty of boxing. You just don't know. It's a hidden drama every time. Again, the left hand was a good shot from Rigby. You're right, they're almost fighting on instinct and will now. Yes, I think really they are. They know it's very close to the end. Neither one wants to give way. So they're both, you're not thinking about fitness, you're not thinking about how tired they are. They're just thinking about just keep those arms moving, just try and find a punch from somewhere. both desperately take, trying to take the eye of the referee by pumping out the leather non-stop but try to look for the more significant shots the ones that really land with a bit of quality about them seconds left both of them desperately tired no real good scoring work they're just trying to keep the arms moving try and attract the referee's attention and get the points there's nothing there really of any quality just breathing very heavily Tanvir Ahmed as he came out of that clinch with right hand, another smashing left hand from Rigby. Tanvir Ahmed has to be careful. So late on and so tired. And another very big, deep breath from him. He looked in a bit of trouble for a moment there on those ropes. Tanvir Ahmed. It would be terrible for him if he was to fall apart this late on. With only half a minute or so left. Rigby's had a good last round. Will it be enough to make him British lightweight champion in a cracking right hand? Two. The last round's turning into a bit of a nightmare for Tanvir Ahmed. His gum shield's come out. And he really does look to be at the end of his tether, Tanvir Ahmed, here. Because he's in desperate trouble. And... But is there enough time for Rigby? I'll tell you what, he needed that respite. And he's on very shaky legs. He's all over the place, Tanvir Ahmed. I tell you what, this will be stopped very shortly. It's finished. And Rigby is the new British lightweight champion. He certainly won the last round, and he's taken the title. It's a massive success story for the man who lost on his debut, the man who'd been out of the ring for 10 months, but whose seventh successive win makes him the lightweight champion of Great Britain. Well, that was a tremendous rally at the end. He really summoned it up, and I think really to sheer tiredness from Ahmed. He just it all went from him in the last round he just lost everything that was a very big round for rigby could have been a 10-8 round and he really just for me really just pulled it out from that very last round it had to be very close and rigby got a, a little cut to his, his left eye as well to finish with a tremendous effort from both fighters and your heart really does go out to tanvir ahmed who'd waited so long for his chance did that last round cost him the fight we'll know when we hear the scorecard of larry o'connell this is this last round trade-off or well, not so much a trade-off because it was tanvir ahmed who was on the wrong end of a barrage from rigby and i tell you what tanvir ahmed was on the very brink of being stopped here i don't think he'd have lasted another half a minute he wouldn't have i don't think so he's been caught with solid punches desperately tired it just all drained out of him with a few big punches from rigby right at the end and he so tired there's a big right hand that took an awful lot out of him he's looking to hold but the legs had gone at this stage and really rigby just needed a, a little bit more time and i think he well would have gotten the stoppage so how close was it here's our mc john mcdonald ladies and gentlemen the referee scorecard reads 
for Amida, 114 points. For Rigby, 115 points. The new British lightweight champion from the beautiful city of Manchester, Wayne Rigby. Well, it was six rounds and to five with one three. even. And no doubt about it, it depended on the last round. It must have been even going in the last round. And Rigby won that last round on Larry O'Connell's scorecard and with it he became champion ladies and gentlemen to present the coveted Lonsdale belt we call upon our steward in charge this evening Leonard Nipper Reed what a sensational start to 1998 wasn't it especially for Wayne Rigby his mum can look now she'll see her son is the new British lightweight champion but Barry well, it couldn't have been any tighter. Phenomenal finish. Oh, absolutely. Tremendous start to the new year. A tremendous fight. These are two young kids that wanted to break through. And this could be a star of the future. Young Wayne Rigby. Great fighter. Pulled it out when he needed to. Put a lot of emphasis on the body shots in the early rounds. And just when he needed it, in the last round, he turned it around. Uh, and I, I give him that, that, that last round by a clear point. So therefore, he won it, he, he won it by a, a two-point margin on the 10-9 the rust system. But uh, what a marvellous fight. And in the end, it may well be that Tanvir Ahmed paid the price for those body shots that he sustained in the earlier rounds at the hands of Wayne Rigby. There he is. He's the new British lightweight champion. He's Wayne Rigby, and with him is Ian Dark. British lightweight champion. After all the struggles, Wayne, how does that sound? <laughs> Brilliant. I'm sorry. You'll just say, I love you, ma'am. And I'm all right. And I love you, Gemma. I want to thank all the lads. Everyone who's got me there, Bob Shannon, Azzy Dale, Jack Trickett, and the Bobbing Greatsman. Everyone, it's unbelievable. <laughs> well, it's a fabulous achievement, and it's obviously got you close to tears. But looking back on the fight, that was so close, and you obviously won it in the last round on the ref scorecard. Yeah, uh, well, Bob kept saying to me, come on, you've got to dig deep now. You've got to want it more in him. I could feel him getting strong. I thought, man, I've got to bring my teeth now. I've really got to dig deep. I think of all the ones what I've done with the tyres, going up the hills. Oh, and that's what I got from it. All the hard work, what I've done. And tonight it's paid off. And next time we're going to be even fitter and sharper. I've done good there, been out of the ring 10 months. He's kept sharp. And I've done good. The more fights get going, get going now, I'll just get sharper and better. I've got caught a lot. You know what I mean? It's just uh, 